Hello. So today we are going to do a different Pilates variation. This is my Pilates sculpt class. So in this class we use weights. Um, if you don't have weights, you have several options. You can do this without weights. So all the things that I do with weights, you can just do the same thing without. Not a problem. Um, if you don't have weights at home, but you want to use something, cans of beans or tomatoes or anything that you can grasp easily in your hands will also work. Um, so you can do that in a pinch. Um, I usually recommend that my students use um, somewhere between like three to six pound weights for this because there's a lot of repetition. But if you do a lot of upper body work, then you're going to want to have uh, heavier weights. Um, yeah, so um, we're going to break this into two parts again. Uh, the first part is going to be pretty much upper body. Okay, so we'll be doing a lot of upper body weight work interspersed with upper body floor exercises and um, some stretching. And then the second half will be um, hips, butt, abs, and very quick cool down stretch. That is it. Um, if you want music, I have Spotify playlists on Spotify under the name of Lisa Lit 2, L-I-S-A-L-I-T, and the number two. If you scroll down to any of the ones that say sculpt, there's like sculpt one, sculpt two, sculpt three, <laughs> those will work for this class. Uh, reason being that at the end, it becomes kind of upbeat so that we can make it through like the abs and the bicycles and stuff like that. But I mean, you can listen to any music you want during this as well. It doesn't have to be my playlist, okay? Um, all right, so we're gonna get started. So have your weight somewhere nearby. In this class, we actually start standing. So we're gonna stand in the center of the mat, legs a little more than hip width apart, nice and tall, tummy tight. We're gonna inhale up, exhale, press forward, round your back, separate shoulder blades, little bend in the knee. Inhale back up, exhale, reach down behind and pull. Pull, open the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows. You can take it into a squat if you'd like. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist. Keep a little bend in your knees as you twist. Look over your arm. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist the other way. And inhale up. And exhale down. Good. We're going to inhale all the way up. Exhale, come down on one side. Bend your knees, sweep your body around, come up the other way. Inhale again, exhale, reverse. The idea here is you're bending deeply enough that you're not feeling pressure on your back and you're just kind of letting your body swing loose as it swings around from one side to the other. See one more each side. Last one. Good, and then we're gonna come back to center, feet together, nice and tall. Tummy tight. We're gonna inhale up. Exhale, fold forward and just dangle. If you need a little bend in your knees here because your hamstrings or your back are tight, feel free to bend. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Breathe. Let's inhale, come to a flat back, look forward. Exhale, back down. Inhale, all the way up, palms together overhead. Exhale, palms to chest. One more, inhale up. Exhale, fold it forward. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. And inhale, all the way up. Palms together, exhale, palms to chest. Now we're gonna grab our weights now. So, um, if you wanna have two different sizes of weights, that's fine too, that way you can switch off whenever you need to. Um, I'm just gonna stick with these. So we're gonna stand, heels together, toes apart, 
sort of like a, a ballerina or a penguin, whichever you prefer, or maybe a penguin ballerina. That's fine too, whatever your heart desires. So we're gonna squeeze, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs together. Press your hips forward. You're gonna feel your hips rotating open. You wanna keep that feeling, squeezing the thighs. Pull your tummy tight, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders down, inhale, exhale, relax. We're gonna stay in this position, abs engaged, legs engaged, while we do this whole first set of weight work. We're gonna bring the weights up. Our arms are bent, so the upper part of the arm is parallel to the floor. We're gonna inhale, extend, exhale, and bend. Inhale, and exhale. Tummy stays tight, glutes stay tight, thighs pressed together for four, three, two, and one. And now we're gonna open to the side, same thing here. Inhale, extend, exhale, and bend. Inhale, and exhale. For four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna bring our weights to the side. Squeeze your elbows in. We're gonna inhale, squeeze the arms together and back. Exhale, bend back up. So it looks like this and back. Squeeze and bend. Inhale and exhale. Keep your tummy tight, keep your chest lifted. Four, three, two, and one. Good, weights come down. We're gonna inhale here, exhale up. Inhale back, squeeze together. Look right, center, left, center now. Exhale and release. So you're holding your breath there. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale back and hold. Look left, center, right, center. Release, inhale. Exhale up, inhale, back right, center, left, center, release, last one, inhale, exhale up, inhale, back, left, center, right, center, release, arms at your sides, tummy really tight, inhale, one arm up, exhale, over the side, inhale up, exhale, back down, other one up, over, up, and down. Really squeeze your tummy here. This is about abs, not arms. You should be feeling this not just on the sides of your body, but also in these muscles here next to your belly button. If you're not feeling it there, pull in tighter. Good, one more each side. Good, release. We're gonna bring the weights together in front, front, inhale, up under the chin, exhale, back down. Good, inhale and exhale. Up and lower, up and lower for four, three, two, and one. Good, weights come up over the head. Inhale behind the head, exhale, press back up. Inhale, exhale. We're still squeezing the butt, the, top, the tummy, the thighs. Four, three, two, and one. Weights come down. Good. We're going to switch positions here. We're going to come into this sort of squat position now. So your legs are going to be hip width apart again, and you're going to bend your knees. My weight is on my heels, so I can wiggle my toes if I want. I'm kind of sticking my butt out and be in back of me, keeping my uh, back flap, tummy tight, chest lifted. One arm in front, one behind. I'm gonna inhale together, exhale and switch. Inhale, exhale. Bring them together, extend. Together, extend. Think about lifting your back arm as much as you're extending your front arm. You can do this even lower if you want to get into a deeper squat. You can stay higher if that feels better, but keep your tummy tight, chest lifted. Try not to round your back. One more each side. Okay. 
And we're gonna come back facing center. Legs hip width apart again. Feet face, facing forward, bend your knees, and then tuck your pelvis in. Pull your tummy tight, bring your arms together, round it over. This is called the ladybug. We're gonna inhale, open, exhale and close. Inhale and exhale. Open and close. Look at the floor, keep your neck relaxed. Keep that tummy pulled in. Three, two, and one. Good. Coming back to our original penguin ballerina position. Heels together, thighs tight, squeezing your butt. Bring your arms together nice and rounded like you're giving a big hug. This is actually called the hug. We're gonna inhale, open, exhale, close. I did not make these names up. I got them from a Pilates sculpt video many, many, many years ago. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one, and release. Good. Okay, one more. These are arm circles. If you are one of my regular students, you know what's coming. These are hard. So a lot of my students will switch to lighter weights here. If you already have lighter weights, that's fine. Um, really keep everything tight for these. That will help. So squeezing your thighs, your legs are really strong beneath you, pull that tummy in. Nothing should move except your arms. We're gonna make four little circles going up on a diagonal, four little circles coming back down. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Down, two. Keep breathing, inhale, and exhale. We're almost there, this is four. Gets to be too much, just put your weights down and continue without. Three. Two. Last set, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, stretch one arm down, Whew, stretch it out. If you want, you can turn your wrist side to side, and then switch. Good. We're gonna come on the floor. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching here. So coming down onto hands and knees, hopefully I will not bang my head on this piano as we do this, but I guess if I do it will be comical and amusing for everybody, right? Except me. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to inhale, arch the back, look up at the ceiling, and then exhale, pull your tummy in to round the spine. Press the tailbone down, chin comes to chest, press the shoulder blades apart. And then push down onto your heels in child's pose. We're going to smooth all that out. So we're going to inhale as we come up and arch. Exhale as we round and push down. And go ahead and give me three or four more of these at your own pace with your own breath. And then the next time you're in child's pose, stay there. Let your forehead find the floor. Arms can slide forward. You can keep your arms engaged and stretch or you can relax them. Legs can stay beneath you or you can open really wide and let your belly sink through. Deep breath. Okay, and now we're gonna walk the fingers forward so your arms are very stretched. You're gonna inhale up to hands and knees, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, 
Exhale up to downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal your feet, bend one knee at a time, press the other heel down. Keep pressing your palms into the floor, creating a straight line down your spine from tailbone to the top of your head. Deep breaths here, two. And then let's inhale, press up onto the toes, round forward. So we're momentarily in a plank, but then exhale, dropping the legs towards the floor. You can stay like this, you can come to the tops of your feet, or you can drop all the way down into Cobra. Press the floor away, don't sink into your shoulders. Press those shoulders away. And then let's inhale. Exhale, pressing back up and down into child's pose. Inhale. Exhale, roll it up. Good. Okay, we're going to do an exercise here for triceps. If you did my other mat class, we did um, a very similar, pretty much the same thing with just the legs slightly different. So for this one, you want to have your elbows rotated so they're pointing behind you. So when you come forward, your elbows are bent so they're pointing to the back. So they are not coming out to the side like a typical push-up, right? They're coming to the back. The reason they're doing this is because we're trying to isolate these back of the arm muscles here. And if we do it this way, we're going to be working these muscles here instead. So. Even if you don't go too low down, just keep those elbows behind you and just go a little bit up and down, okay? So hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Rotate those elbows. We're gonna extend the left leg. We're gonna inhale, bring the knee in, exhale, extend again. Inhale to lower, exhale to press it up. Bring it in, push it back, bring it down, press it up. Make sure your elbows are pointing behind you. Let's do one more. And then press back into child's pose. Take a breather. And then come on back up. Back into position, turn those elbows, extend the other leg. Bring the knee in, extend, lower, and lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. For three, two, good, one more. And press it back, breathe. And inhale. Exhale. Roll it up to seated. Now we're going to sit now. Grab your weights. If you find it is uncomfortable to sit like this, or like this, um, grab a block. If you don't have a block, grab a book or a stable, strong box or anything that's about you know that height that you can put under you. If you don't have any of those things, find a way to sit that works for your body, okay? So, grab your weights. We're gonna sit, legs extended, Tummy tight, nice and tall. I want you to squeeze your butt. So it's like you're sitting right on top of your butt muscles. It feels weird. We're going to stay with our butts engaged through this whole thing. Weights are in front. We're going to inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale out and back in. Up, lower. Up, out and in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Keep squeezing your butt. My legs are shaking. That's how hard I am squeezing my butt here. For four. Good, three, up and down, up, out and in. Good, two. Last one. Good. Get across the ankles. Again, if this is not comfortable, find a position that is. We're gonna do two we already did. We're starting with the hug. So, for this one, arms are in front, weights together, nice and curved arms. We're gonna inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Good. And then, just like before, we're going to do the one where arms are overhead, and we inhale down, exhale back up. Remember, you can switch to lighter weights at any time, or you can do it without weights. Four, three, two, and one. Come down. Okay. So now we're going to get into um, some floor stuff. We're going to do our first plank. But first, we're going to do dolphin dives. So our first plank is going to be a forearm plank. We do a lot of planks in this class. Um, modify anything to suit your needs, OK? So if I'm doing a forearm plank and you think it's better for you to do a straight arm plank or vice versa, do what works for you. Also, you can always, no matter what plank you're doing, you can come to one knee or both knees if you feel like doing the plank is too much, OK? So this, we're going to start with what's called dolphin dive. So we're going to be on hands and knees, but then we're going to drop down onto our forearms. If you like your forearm planks like this, you can do your dolphin dives this way with your arms shoulder width apart straight ahead. I like to clasp because that helps support my shoulders. So I have like a little triangle here with my arms. I'm tucking my toes. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. Press my butt up. It's like a downward dog. From here, I'm going to lower so that I'm in a plank. So I might have to scooch my feet back or press myself forward. I'm in my plank here. I'm going to exhale, press back up to dolphin. Inhale, lower back down to plank. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, lower down. Think about engaging the muscles under your belly button to pull you up and to control you down. Let's do four, three, two, and one. And now we're going to hold. We're going to inhale, exhale. Inhale, keep your tummy tight. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze your butt. Press the floor away. Exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. And relax. So I didn't have a uh, second hand to look at. But usually that's 30 seconds. So we probably just did a 30 second forearm plank. When you are ready, we're going to come back up and we're going to swing around. So we're on our butts. Legs are in front, knees bent. We're going to do a reverse table here. In this position, we're going to be like this, pressing up into like a tabletop pose. If this is not good for your shoulders, then sit this one out or modify with something of your choice. If you have tight shoulders, you might find this difficult. Um, and uh, you can turn your wrists any way that's comfortable for you. So mine like to point in or to the side, but some people might like pointing back. Just see how your body's put together and what it wants to do. My legs are hip width apart. My hands are behind me. I'm going to inhale. Pull my chest up, shoulders back, tummy tight. Exhale. I am now a table. So 
Option A here, if this is a lot, you can come down and then press back up. If this is just right, stay here. If you want a little more, inhale one leg up, exhale lower, inhale the other one up, exhale lower. Try to squeeze your butt and keep it in place as your legs go up and down. You can keep your chin lifted, you can let your head fall back, whatever feels good. Keep trying to open your chest if that works for your body. Keep squeezing your butt, pulling your tummy tight. One more set of legs, if you're doing them. Whatever you're doing, breathe. Let's hold here, inhale, exhale, and lower. Good. All right, we're gonna do one more thing for upper body here. Hmm before our planks. So really we're doing more things for upper body, but we're gonna do one more weight, weight thing. So we're gonna lay down. My students are doing backs today, not hands and knees. Next time maybe we'll do hands and knees. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down. Knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, and I am going to take this arch out of my back here by pulling my tummy tight and pressing my spine into the floor. So I'm gently tucking my tailbone, pulling those lower abs in. There should be no space between the floor and your back. From here, I'm gonna bring the weights up. The weights, my hands are facing forward, and I'm gonna inhale, lowering both arms to the floor, back stays on the mat. Exhale, come back up. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Inhale, lower to the hips. Exhale, back up. Inhale, down. My arms are coming down by my ears. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. They're coming down by my hips. Exhale, up. I do this nice and slow, kind of focusing on where the muscle groups switch. So where the front of the arms switch to the back of the arms working. Breathing with it, keeping that Back pressed onto the floor the whole time. Let's do two more. Okay, last set. Good. Now we're gonna turn the weight so they face each other. We're gonna lift one leg up at a time. We're gonna inhale, open. Exhale and close. It's just like when we did the hug, except we're laying down. We're gonna open and close. Inhale and exhale for three, two. And now we're gonna switch it. So we're gonna open for three counts, close for one. Open for three, close for one. Three, two, one and close. And now we're going to open for one and close for three, two, one. Open, close, close, close. One more like this. Good. Feet come down. Back presses into the floor. Turn your weights again. This time one is going to go to the ear, one to the hip, and then back up. Switch and then back up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure your spine is pressed into the floor. Pull that tummy tight, press that tailbone down. For four. Three. Two. And one more. Good. We're going to bring the weights together again. We'll lift the legs up again, knees bent. We're going to open one arm to the side and then close. Other arm to the side and then close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. If you're using heavier weights, try to resist the uh, weight pulling you to the side. Really pull your tummy tight to press your hips in the floor so they stay stable as you go to the sides. If you're using lighter weights, you're probably not going to feel that pull so much. Two more. One 
One more. Good. Okay. Last one in this series. The weights are going to come up straight from the shoulders. All you're doing here is bending the elbows and straightening the elbows. Do not move your shoulders as you do this. Squeeze shoulders, bend, and straighten. If you want to add more, you can extend legs and bring them in. This is the part where I walk around the room and hold people's shoulders in place because people always move their shoulders. Don't move your shoulders. Just bend the elbow, straighten the elbow. It's harder than it seems. You should feel this in the same place that we felt the other one before in the back of the arms here. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. Put your weights down to the side. Bring your knees in. Hopefully you have a little more room than I do here. We're going to open your arms out to the sides. We're going to inhale. Drop the knees to one side. Keep them off the floor. If you want a little more, extend the legs. And then bend. Exhale to center. Inhale to the other side. Extending if you'd like or if you can. Then come back to center. It's also fine to keep your knees just bent. Lower. Lift up. Lower. Lift up. If you're not straightening, or even if you are and you want to try to do this with no arms and really use your abs only to pull you up, that's a challenge too. And then let's come back center. Bring your knees in. Inhale. And exhale. And roll yourself up. And we just have three planks. And then we are done with upper body. And we will move on to uh, hips, glutes, and abs. So we are going to do a front plank, a side plank, and a reverse plank. So uh, this time our front plank is going to be a high plank, but like I said before, modify it to make it any way you want. If these are better for you on your forearms, please do it that way. We're going to do leg lifts when we do this. So let me show you the legs first. We're going to be in our front plank. We're going to hold for two breaths. Then we're going to bring a knee in, extend, and lower. Take care that when you extend this leg, you're not also pushing back into like a down dog. It feels a lot easier all of a sudden. That's what you're doing. So you really want to stay here and just squeeze the butt. Okay? This is hard. If you get tired, come to a knee instead. Okay? And just try it from there. Keep your weight over your wrist so that you're still working this part. Once you push back, you're not anymore. But even if you're on your knees, you're still working. Okay? So it's about a minute this time. Two breaths in front plank. Six sets of legs. One more breath. Feel free to come to your knees if you need to. So let's come on into our plank position. Push the floor away. Legs are behind. And we're going to inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring in the legs. Knee comes in. Extend. Lower. Another one in. Up. Down. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Keep breathing. If you want to play with where your leg comes in, you can. So your leg can come to the side or it can come across to the other elbow or it can come straight in. One more set of legs. Good. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale. Woo! Drop it down. Push it back and breathe. So I don't have a second hand again, but it sure felt like a minute. Good. When you're ready, come on back up. So now, for my side plank, I come on to my forearm for this one. Not because um, you have to. Um, I really do it because I'm tired from doing straight arm for the last one. So I'm just switching it up. This is going to be a little less hard on the shoulders because you're using a little more of like these big muscles. It's going to be a little more core. 
Um, it's up to you, however you want to do it. I roll my mat up under my elbow, because otherwise it's a lot of pressure on the elbow. The easiest way to do this one is with your knee on the floor, lifting your hip like that. Next easiest is one foot in front of the other, then like this, this is the hardest. Pick your position, join me here. We're gonna inhale an arm up, exhale around. Inhale and exhale. Up and around, up and around, good. Hold it up, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale. If you want, try lifting your leg, or if that's too much, try this. Inhale, and exhale, and lower. Good, switch sides. Coming on up, squeezing this hip. Inhale up. Exhale around, up and around. Inhale and exhale. Hold up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try lifting the leg if you want for this variation again. And inhale. And exhale, lower, good. One more plank and we are done with upper body. And we will stretch. This is a reverse plank. So you already did reverse table. This is the same exact thing, but with your legs straight. If you want to substitute reverse table again, do that. If you modified this one before, whatever modification you did is fine as well. Same rules apply. Hands, whichever way is comfortable for your wrists. Tummy tight. Shoulders back, lift the chest, inhale, exhale, press yourself up. Just like before, if this is a lot, come down. When you're ready, come back up. If this is just right, stay here. If you want more, lift and lower, lift and lower. It can fall back, chin can lift, up to you. One more set of legs. And then inhale, exhale and lower. Inhale your arms up, exhale, fold forward and stretch. And roll it back up. And we're going to stretch the arms before we move on to hips. So we're going to reach one arm behind. Put your hand on the elbow. Maybe push back with your head. Inhale. Exhale. Good, let's switch. The other arm behind. If you prefer the yoga stretch like this, that's fine too. Although I didn't tell you that for the first arm, so do what you just did. Good, release. Reach one arm forward, push, push, push across, pull across the body. Keep the shoulders soft if you want, rotate your wrist. I like to look over my shoulder as well. Release, other arm out, reach, pull, rotate. Good, release, inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale, reach behind, open the chest. Good. So we're gonna do part two now. I bet the video already stopped and restarted. Um, but let me check. Maybe not. <laughs>